There's no end to the entertainment involving the North London derby rivals as Arsenal came back from two goals down at home to draw 2-2 with Tottenham and frustrate the Lily Whites. <laughs> what did you make of it? Where do we start? <laughs> team selection, team shape. Uh, it was just end-to-end -end stuff. It was you attack, I'll attack. It was, it was a crazy, crazy game. And look, for the neutral, it was a fantastic game. I mean, there's, there's always something going on. Yellow cards should have been red cards. I think they probably should have been. But uh, some high quality stuff and some really low quality stuff. It was a, it was a remarkable derby. I, I've not seen a derby like it for quite some time. Arsenal started really well mm -hmm. the first 10 minutes or so yep. and then gave away a very strange goal which showed once again their defensive frailties. And Christian Eriksen gets the selection for Tottenham even though he might be on his way out the door and he got the first goal. Um, then the penalty decision for, for Shaka to go diving in seemed a bit crazy as well. It's like Arsenal were shooting themselves in the foot. Absolutely. Um, look, look, you go back to the first goal. Granit Xhaka's challenging for the ball. There's no need for Socrates to come in. So it, everything's opened up. The positional, uh, the, the position of the, of the back four was all over the place. He's no need to make the challenge. It's such a simple, it's, it's almost like a schoolboy's goal. You, you very rarely see it at the top level. And then you talk about the captain of the side, Granit Xhaka, goes into a ridiculous challenge in the box. The referee had no option to give, but to give the penalty. And Harry Kane smashed it in the back of the net. So Arsenal were really up against it, you, you, you know, because of the way that Unai Emery protected that back four or didn't protect that back four, you knew there was probably going to be more goals, but, but the, the goals came from Arsenal rather than, rather than Tottenham. Yeah, Arsenal fans would have been happy to see Nicola Pepe starting along with Aubameyang and Lacazette. Lacazette mm -hmm. had a brilliant first half, strangely taken off while they were still trailing in the second half. I don't half. know why, I really don't know why. Um, how did you find the, the second half performance or how did you find the overall balance that Unai Emery was able to find uh, eventually? I didn't, I didn't see any balance in the first half at all. Um, every, every single player on the field, for, uh, on, from a defensive viewpoint, the midfield three and the back four, were absolutely isolated. Um, look, look, going forward, getting the ball to Lacazette, Aubameyang and Pepe, yes, there was, there was a lot going on, a lot of movement, a lot of you know, pace. So that's, that was exciting, but... When you're defending with, with just seven, and, and Guendouzi is not a great defender, you've also got Granit Xhaka who puts his foot in, in ridiculous position. And then Torreira, the, the guy that I like and I think most Arsenal fans like, he was the one that was substituted in the second half and Ceballos came on. Now, they may have been chasing the game a little bit, so I can understand you know, Ceballos coming on. But um, it was such a wild game though, Ross. It was just a crazy game of football. Tottenham managed to hang in there in the end. Uh, their second two-all draw in a difficult fixture for them. Of course, yep. they drew with Man City as well. Mm. It's not been the fastest start by no. them with one win. Um, how did you find them or, or how do you feel they're going to attack this autumn? Do you think that they're in trouble in any way? Well, there seems to be um, a little bit of upset in the camp. You know, Danny Rose wanted away, Alderweireld. Uh, Vertonghen's had this spat with the manager. He started today. Ericsson, will he go? We'll find out tomorrow because the, the window closes. Um, it's a little bit disjointed, to be honest. I, I thought Harry Kane looked a little bit lethargic today, um, but was still a threat in, in, in the latter stages. I thought he could have done, done a little bit better on, cer on certain occasions. But um, Tottenham, again, going forward, they, 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 they had numbers going forward, but they, they weren't crit uh, clinical in that final third. They didn't have that killer pass, that final pass that, that sort of could, could have actually separated the two sides when they were two up. But... Uh, no, it's, it's going to be a strange season because they had a fantastic season last year, Tottenham. Uh, you know, a great run of the Champions League. Um, but they just need to get this harmony back and it doesn't seem as though they've got the harmony back yet. It is obviously still very, very early days. Who do you back to resolve their problems the quickest? I think with what he's got to work with, I think Pochettino. Um, I, I think if you look at the defenders, the, the, the defenders, you look at what he's, what he's working with in the middle of the park with Sissoko and Winks, I, I think they've got, they've got enough. If they lose Ericsson, uh, that's a big loss, but the Celso comes in, maybe he's going to fill those boots, but they're big boots to fill. OK, so Tottenham will leave disappointed in the end, given that they were 2-0 up against a very up-and-down Arsenal team who managed to fight back in the end. The fans at home perhaps will go home happy. Lots to work on for both sides. They'll look forward to the international break.